for this half hour with an update to a major story we first told you about at the top of our show. One of downtown South Bend's most popular and highly rated restaurants is in big trouble this morning. It is overnight. City officials changed the locks on the Vine restaurant, forcing its owner to shut it down. South Bend Tribune's Heidi Prescott was the first to report this story. It's on the front page of your South Bend Tribune. She joins us in the studio this morning. Good morning, Heidi. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Now, this all stems from money the Vine owes the city. Apparently, the Vine owns tens of thousands of dollars in back rent. Um, it goes back about six months or so. And what we don't know is what sort of trouble the owner had gotten into to put her in this situation. Mm -hmm. um, but the city really felt as though after so long, it had no choice but to change the locks and to close down the restaurant. Is there any indication, Heidi, that it goes deeper than just business wasn't great? You know, we don't know that. We really don't. Um, you know, business is thriving downtown. There's so much activity. There are new restaurants that have popped up in the last year, two years. It's so vibrant, and that's why it's a big question as to um, what the situation was to force this to happen. Now, Heidi, you said this stems back six months. Why did the city decide to do this now? The city decided to do this now because this week it had been receiving calls that the Vine was telling its customers, people who had made reservations for weddings, for graduations, rehearsal dinners, um, that the restaurant was going to close on May 31st. Okay. So to recoup some of the money um, that was owed, all the furnishings and equipment are now inside and are the property of the city, from what I understand. And so that um, allows the taxpayers to recoup some of their money. All right. And, and finally, before we wrap up, obviously, if you have lunch plans at the Vine today, you have to go someplace else. What do we know what's going to happen next? Next, the city is going to be marketing the building for sale, for lease, I should say. The city will retain ownership of it. They don't expect the building to be empty for very long, again, because of the vibrancy downtown. This is an isolated uh, incident, one restaurant closing, and they expect it to fill very soon. All right. Heidi All Prescott, right. great stuff. We appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you. And you can read the full story in today's South Bend Tribune. Thanks very much.